So I'm Sean Carroll. I'm a physicist by training, or actually I'm an astronomer by training. Uh, all my degrees are in astronomy, and I've never been employed as an astronomer. Uh, uh, but I've been in, interested also in philosophy since I started. Philosophy minor as an undergraduate, sat in on courses with John Rawls and Robert Nozick as a graduate student. Uh, uh, but I was told correctly that, you know, as a graduate student, you're supposed to not think about anything other than what you are studying. But I, I maintained interest in these things. I've written a couple of uh, papers about the relationship between science and religion, saying that being a good scientist leads you to not be religious. And uh, I did, uh, as a young assistant professor, a book publisher walked into my office. He was sort of tapping on doors at the physics department at the University of Chicago, saying, does anyone want to write a popular book? And I said, well, I, I don't have any plans, but if I do write a popular book, I don't want it to be about physics. I want to write about atheism. And he was intrigued by that. He went back to his publisher, and he came back and said, nobody would ever buy a book about atheism. So, <laughs> so it turns out that was wrong. But uh, uh, I, I think that various people, including people in this room, have done a wonderful job um, making atheism, naturalism, an idea that the world is what we observe, and, and that's all that is real. Uh, much more out there in the public discourse. Uh, as we were talking about on the car ride up, there's some feeling among many people that, um, that e explaining why naturalism is right and, and how science leads us to that pulls the rug out from underneath you uh, in terms of why we are here, what is the purpose and meaning of life and so forth, and all we have to offer them in return is a hard concrete floor. And I don't think that's true. I think we can do better. But so I'm very, very interested in sort of taking those positive next steps and explaining to people what it is like to live in a world governed by naturalism. And we don't all agree. Uh, you know, we've had books come out. Sam Harris wrote a book that was very interesting. And he sends his regrets he couldn't be here. Uh, but he tried to make the case that uh, we can base morality on science. And some of us disagree with that. And But this is something we should at least have an informed set of perspectives abound. And so I had the idea of having uh, this little meeting. I, got, I was very, very uh, pleased at the enthusiastic response that everyone received. So uh, I'm very happy uh, to have you all here. And if there's one thing I'm willing to change my mind about tentatively, it's free will. So I know that free will is one of the contentious topics we can talk about. I am a compatibilist. I think that there's no problem talking about free will, even though we're all made of atoms obeying the laws of physics. But my belief in that is, is based on the idea that talking about human beings as rational choice-making uh, agents is the best theory we have of talking about human beings at the level of human beings. So if someone convinces me we have a better theory of human beings in which they are not making rational choices, then I'm certainly willing to change my mind. 